Hi, I'm Dr. William Rahal. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills and I specialize in breast and body procedures. Will the breast augmentation make my nipples more even? No. Uh, whenever a patient comes in for a consultation, we go over their asymmetries. It's very common that all women have a very slight or small asymmetry between their nipples. Getting a breast augmentation will not change that. So if you have a slight asymmetry or difference between your nipples and you undergo a breast augmentation, that asymmetry will not get better, it won't get worse, it'll stay exactly the same. Will I be able to fly shortly after surgery? Yes. I usually advise patients not to fly for about a week, but after a week it's okay. A lot of it depends on the duration of the flight, how long the flight is, and where you're going. If I have a breast augmentation, will I lose sensitivity to the nipple? The answer is no, but it's important to understand how sensitivity is affected by breast augmentation. So the first couple of weeks, you may notice that you have increased sensitivity or hypersensitivity. Things will be a little bit more sensitive to touch. That's because of the swelling and because of the surgery. Over the course of three weeks to three months, that will go away. And usually around three to six months, everything comes back. It is possible to have also decreased sensation uh, the first couple months, that's usually because some of the microscopic nerves are severed. That will also improve over time, but that may take a little bit longer, closer to six months to a year. It is extremely rare and very improbable that you will lose sensitivity from a breast augmentation. If I have a breast augmentation, how long will I need to sleep upright? I recommend that if you have a breast augmentation, uh, you sleep on your back for about a week. After a week, it's okay to turn to your sides. Um, do the best you can. Sometimes patients prefer to be on their side, that's okay, nothing's gonna happen, but general guideline is about a week. What is the best procedure if I need a lift? Well, the only way we can answer that is if you come into the office and have a consultation. There are different types of lifts, and the lifts are described by their scar. So there's a donut, a lollipop, and an anchor. During the consultation, we go over all your options. Based on your anatomy, your goals, we determine which is the best option for you, but that really takes a full hour in the office with me going over 3D imaging, taking very precise measurements, and then customizing the plan for you. What is the difference between a breast augmentation and a lift? Well, they're two completely separate procedures. A breast augmentation is a procedure that you get volume. So an implant's gonna make you bigger. It's gonna enhance your volume. A lift is gonna remove skin and bring up the nipple. Is breast revision surgery painful? In general, the first procedure you have is gonna be the most painful because that's where the most trauma is and the tissues are being violated for the first time. If you require a breast revision, in general, it's much easier recovery, less painful than your first surgery.